I welcome back everyone. Our today's topic is audit evidence collection techniques. So here we will see what we are going to collect and what will be the techniques in collecting the same. The basic and the pertinent question which comes into this is what is the purpose? Why do I need to collect it? What gets included and what are its determinants? Why basically I am collecting evidence is because I want to see that the criteria which has been established or the objective which has been set up, the data which comes out of it supports the audit conclusion. So if I am concluding something on it, I need to do that from the data and that data needs to be linked to the objective and the established criteria from where it has been pulled out. What could be the various places where audit evidences could be found or it could be noted? One could be the auditor's observation. It could be uh, the auditor could be observing things. Notes of interviews. So auditor would be actually taking interviews of people and would be making the notes which can be referred back and checked. Results of an independent confirmation extracted from correspondences and results of audit test procedures. So I would basically be doing testing of the various uh, control. So it would come out from there. Determinants. What would be the determinants? So what actually are determinants? So determinants are independently provided evidences. So they need to be independent. They cannot come under some influence and then the evidence comes up. The person who is providing the evidence need to be qualified to provide that evidence. A person who is not related to it cannot actually be providing the correct set of evidences. Objectivity of the evidence to the extent possible. It should not be subjective. It should be objective so that the interpretation is correct and timing of the evidence. The evidence need to be properly timed as and when it has been required to be pulled out. Techniques for gathering evidences. How do I go about in gathering evidences? So one way is reviewing IS organizational structures. So the auditor basically reviews the information systems organization structures and comes to uh, technique to gather evidences. Reviews the policies and procedures. Reviews the IS standards. Reviews the IS documentation. Interviews appropriate personnel. Observes the processes and employee performance how the process is running, how the employee is performing in that performance, re-performance and walkthroughs, walkthroughs with the processes. One of the important criteria here is interviewing and observing personnel in performance of their duties. Auditor will sit through in an actual function, see how the auditee is working upon. The auditor will again study actual processes and procedures will check for security awareness. He will see through the reporting relationships. He also needs to understand that an auditee when feeling that is getting audited and an auditor is looking through him or her might change the way the auditee works. So there could be drawbacks in the observations also which the auditor should actually think through while reviewing and maintaining the records. So with this, we come to the end of today's session. So our next session is on analytics, which we will be taking up tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks, everyone.